when they stopped at uh, Gestapo prison, full spell, and we got out. I had no idea that you have to face the wall, about two inches with your nose from the wall. I didn't know that, but I learned fast. Then came an SS man by a Gestapo man, and he, I don't know, he probably had a bad day, so he pushed my head against the wall, you know, and that bust my nose. So the whole wall was bloody. They punished me for messing up the wall. You pick, what did you do with our clean walls? And oh my gosh, you know. And I thought, what's going on? I had no idea. And needless to say, I, I couldn't sleep the whole night, you know. That was so noisy there. I've heard men cry and scream, women cry and scream. And you could hear when they, when they got hit, you could hear. It was terrible, it was terrible. Try to imagine what it would have been like for young children who'd never been away from home, who'd been raised in LDS families, in uh, protected circumstances, really, to suddenly have been arrested by the Gestapo, put in prison cells, and taken daily to the interrogation center run by the Gestapo, where they were held in this famous hall of mirrors with the bright white paint, and then taken off to side rooms to be interrogated. 